Hello, I'm Joe Skeen, and I'm an Angular developer. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gwen Skeen, and I'm almost six years old, and I'm an Angular developer. <laughs> Today we're here to talk about STEM. The world I'm growing up in is different from the world my parents grew up in. We are expected to know a lot more about technology. To be able to solve the problems that they're going to be facing in the future, there's been a big uh, mm -hmm. emphasis in education about STEM. That means science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Learning about this can be hard sometimes can even, and can even be boring. And before I could read and write, I explored my world with my hands, ears, and other senses. I could create and experiment with the stuff I had in my world. So because of this, there's a big movement starting to change STEM to STEAM, adding art to the mix to encourage kids' creativity. But what does this have to do with programming? <laughs> because Angular can put the A into STEAM. Hold on, Daddy, you're getting ahead of yourself. <laughs> you're right. All the time that Gwen's been growing up, she's always been very interested in all the programming I've been doing. Last year I got to come to NGConf with my dad and go to NGConf Kids. I got to make a program using Scratch and control a computer with a banana. <laughs> We continued programming together, and I found a really awesome no, no, website. Oh, I'm, not, I'm sorry. I'm I ahead of myself again. I used to make my mom a Mother's Day card. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, put your hands down. <laughs> we continued programming together, and I found a really awesome website that I think everyone should know about. It's studio.code.org. This is a nonprofit website that was put together by people from Microsoft, Google, Facebook, Twitter, and it's all about helping kids learn to program, whether they're pre-readers or whether they're in high school. My favorite thing on code.org is helping the zombie from Plants vs. Zombies get the flow, some flower. <laughs> to get her started with Angular, we started with the quick start plunker on angular.io. As she was able to see how changing the HTML or the CSS would change the output on the right, it helped her to get really excited about this. We made an Angular app to pick your favorite color when you click a button, it would change the color of the words at the top. Then we made it so that you could use the button to vote for your favorite color. Of course, pink is always at the top. <laughs> I don't see. Programming with Gwen has been a fun and rewarding experience. Um, she's picked up so much more than I ever expected her to, even at her young age. And I hope that we'll be able to continue to uh, program for for years to come. Come on. I love programming because you can make fun things. I hope that as I get older, I could do more programming. If you have kids, you should try programming with them. Just make sure you stay with them to help them when they have questions. I just wanted to quickly share a quote from President Barack Obama that kind of talks about how STEM should be much more interactive. Science is much more than a school subject, a periodic table, the properties of waves. It's an approach to the world, 
a critical way to understand and explore and engage with the world, and then have the capacity to change that world. As we help our kids learn programming and interact with them and do interactive exercises, they'll be more pre prepared for the struggles and the challenges that lie ahead. And I know that you'll enjoy it too. Thank you, everybody.